after watching this video anytime you see this type of question trust me to be very easy for you to solve i will use only one method there are two methods that i can use but i want to use just one method so that i can explain it in detail for any of us to understand if you want the second method you can check a similar video on this on my channel there is the one i use the two methods to solve welcome back to my channel today we are faced with this and we are asked to find the value of x one thing we should all note anytime you see a square root problem like this is that square root of a when you square any root you are going to get that number back so we'll try to square and square and square until we have nothing left to square let me see let me explain in detail by solving this without wasting much of our time so we square both sides first of all so we have square root of x square root of x square root of x square root of x then we square is equal to 27 squared now remember that this we remove the root sign only the first one and we are left with x root x this root x this and root x is equal to 27 squared now we are going to square again okay because our intention is to remove all these square roots because that is the only power that this particular question has if we remove those square root sign the answer will just be there looking at us so we square both sides again now remember this is where you should be careful so that you don't make mistake remember that a b squared is equal to a squared multiplied by b squared if you should apply that here this same thing as x squared multiplied by the square root of x root x root x all squared is equal to 27 2 times 2 is 4 27 to the power of 4 because a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n okay please hit the subscription button turn on the notification bell yes so that you don't forget if this is the first time you are seeing us by so doing any time we upload a new video the algorithm will notify you that we have uploaded a video okay give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and shout out to you my subscribers my old subscribers yes why our silver play button has arrived <laughs> yes remember that we have crossed the hundred thousand watch um hundred thousand subscriber threshold so youtube actually sent our silver play button award and i've received it on our behalf so i'm saying our uh, because without you there is no me this channel is you because you are the channel you are the channel yes so i cannot unbox that particular silver play button without you so i'm going to do a video just for it we are going to unbox it together and have that joy because we deserve it yes we deserve it 100 times over okay so thank you to each and every one of you for your support i truly appreciate this and i'm not taking it for granted the love is massive like the my fan base you'll hardly see a wrong uh, let me just cut it here. i'm going to do a video to dedicate that to you all okay so for now let us do what we have on the board so we have x squared then this we now remove this right so we have multiplied by x square root of x root x is equal to 27 to the power of 4 
so we are going to square again excuse me so we are going to square again all sides but before that remember that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n so in this case now this same thing as x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 so we are going to pick 1x and we add the power as 2 plus 1 which is 3 so we have x to the power of 3 then we have root x root x is equal to 27 to the power of 4 so like i said we square both sides again squared squared so this is same thing as x to the power of 2 all squared multiplied by square root of x root x all squared is equal to 27 4 times 2 is 8 so we have x to the power of 3 times 2 is 6 then the square will remove the roots multiplied by x root x is equal to 27 to the power of 8 now gradually we are reducing the number of square roots this is one of the methods to me is the easiest method yes that you can use to solve this type of question that has multiple square roots attached to it okay so this sentence has x to the power of 1 so we pick 1x we add the power 6 plus 1 7 then root x is equal to 27 to the power of 8 now we square again yes we continue to square until all the roots this this uh until we don't have any roots remaining again so this sentence has x to the power of 7 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by square root of x squared is equal to 27 to the power of 8 times 2 is 16. So here we have x to the power of 7 times 2 is 14. Multiplied by this, we remove this, we have x. Is equal to 27 to the power of 16. So you can see that by God's grace, we've removed all the square root signs. So solving this now will be faster and easier. So we will have x. To the power of this is 1 14 plus 1 is 15 is equal to 27 to the power of 16 now we need the value of x so let us raise this to the power of 1 over 15 inverse of 15 so that 15 we remove 15 and we are left with x so we raise each side to the power of 1 over 15 so we have x to the power of 15 raised to the power of 1 over 15 is equal to 27 to the power of 16 raised to the power of 1 over 15. So we have x to the power of 15 multiplied by 1 over 15 is equal to 27 to the power of 16 multiplied by 1 over 15. So 15 we remove 15 and we are left with x is equal to 27 to the power of 16 over 15 but this still looks big we can still simplify it further so to simplify it further remember that 27 is 3 to the power of 3 right because 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 so we can write this as x is equal to 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 16 over 15. So x is 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 16 over 15. Okay? So x is 3 to the power of... Now 3, we divide this, we have 5. We have 16 over 5. So to simplify further, we have x is equal to 3 to the power of... 16 is same thing as 15 plus 1. Now, everything divided by 5. We are almost there. We are almost there. Okay, so we'll get the value of x and we are done. 
So x is equal to, so this same thing as 3 to the power of 15 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So x is equal to 3 to the power of, now 15 divided by 5 is 3 plus 1 over 5. Now remember that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So, we'll write this as x is equal to 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, so we have x is equal to 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by fifth root of 3. So we can write this as x is 27 multiplied by the fifth root of 3. Okay, so I think this is a uh, simpler, but you can still stop at 27 to the power of 16 divided by 15. That one too is very, very okay or correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.